everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at something special. I picked this up recently. This is the 1985 Sears exclusive Cobra SMS with SMS standing for Sentry and Missile System. I was pretty happy to get this set. This is a fairly rare set nowadays. These Sears exclusive sets were produced and purchased in smaller quantities than your regular retail toys, so there just aren't as many of them around for collectors to acquire. This isn't the only Sears exclusive set for G.I. Joe. It seems like Hasbro had a pretty good relationship with Sears and released several exclusive through Sears over the years, and all of those Sears sets are pretty rare now. Like most of the other Sears exclusive sets, this SMS is a reissue of earlier toys with some rather important color differences. This is a reissue of the 1983 His Tank and the 1982 MMS, but instead of the all black His Tank, we have a red His Tank, and instead of the all green MMS, we have a black and red missile system. These color changes look pretty good to me and this is what you really have to do if you're going to reissue toys. You really got to do something to make it special and these colors do. This set did not come with any action figures so there is no hiss driver and there is no missile commander. This was not specifically advertised as a crimson guard set but some of the other Sears exclusives were advertised as crimson guard and the box art has a crimson guard Guardsman driving the his tank. This is not a full review, but I did still want to give you a fair look at these pieces. This is a straight reissue of the his tank, but with a red body and the original black treads and black gun turret. One thing that's special about this one is it does not have floppy cannon syndrome, which most his tanks do. These cannons were ratcheted using very thin plastic pins inside the housing, and those were so thin thin and fragile, most of them break. But this one still has at least one of those pins still hanging on, so the turrets still are able to elevate and these have not been repaired. That's the original plastic pin holding these cannons up. We have a rotating gun turret as we would expect to have with the Hiss tank, and of course we have that clear canopy which opens up to the cockpit, and a Crimson Guardsman would look pretty good in there. The Hiss tank was reissued many times in many different colors, especially after after the vintage era, and even though I don't typically collect uh, non-vintage G.I. Joe toys, I've still managed to accumulate a few different colored Hiss tanks. Also, in the UK, there was a version of the Hiss tank called the Hyena that was issued under the Action Force brand with colors very similar to this red Hiss tank. Next, we get to the missile system, and this is a straight reissue of the 1982 MMS with only different colors but what a difference the colors make. It's got the same features as the MMS. You can put the legs down uh, to put it in emplacement mode. Um, got these, uh, this stand for the control box that uh, plugs into the back there and it's got more legs that swing out like that. Um, and then you just place the control box on the stand and you've got it uh, ready to fire. It's kind of a tight fit on this one. Uh, but there you go. And that's all essentially identical to the MMS uh, except for the color. And the color though, the black base with the red missiles looks absolutely fantastic. You have three red missiles. Uh, with some stickers on them and you know just to make clear that these are Cobra missiles we do have all new stickers. The turret rotates all the way around and it will elevate. Um, it has the same problem that the MMS had. These missiles do not like to stay on very well. In fact they keep falling off on me as I'm trying to shoot this video. Here are the reissues lined up next to the originals. That's the 1983 His Tank and the 1982 MMS. I'm not going to go into an in-depth comparison right now. I will save that for a future full review but you can see at a glance they essentially just copy the originals and change the colors one more important thing for the full review thanks to a generous donation by a viewer calling himself max rebo's ghosts music i have the blueprints for both pieces in this set and i'm not going to look at them now i'll save that for the full review but i can tell you right now they are interesting i will have a couple things to point out that 
that was just a quick look at the 1985 Sears exclusive Cobra SMS set. I hope you enjoyed it. We will eventually get a full review on this, but I'm saving it for something special. Thank you to my patrons who make this show possible. Their support enables me to upgrade my equipment and get toys to review, which is pretty important. If you'd like to support the show in that way, please check out my Patreon. I also now have a coffee account, so if you like the show, you can always leave me a one-time tip. This channel does full, in-depth G.I. Joe toy reviews every weekend, so please subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any. You can also find me on social media on Facebook and Twitter and my website, hcc788.com. I'll be coming back at you this Sunday with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I hope to see you then. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Oh.